Hey, 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 everyone. Guess what arrived this morning? Look at that. It is the Moto Z. I don't know why this isn't focusing, but not just the Moto Z, also the Moto Z Force, and not just the Moto Z Force, but also the Moto G4, and not just the Moto G4, but also the Moto G4 f Force, not Force, uh, Plus. Look at that. Christmas today. There is more. There is more. Wait, I will show you. Um, I'm also getting this, which is a cover for the Moto Z. Beautiful wood cover. No electronics in this one. And... I am getting this, which is a power pack, 2220 milliamp hour from Kate Spades. It's a Moto Mod. And of course, there's more. Check it out. The JBL Sound Boost Speaker, also a Moto Mod. So, are you ready? <laughs> are you ready for some unboxing action? Maybe my autofocus will end up working. Hey, look, I'm not wearing my ring. I just literally rolled out of bed for this. So, let's start with the Moto Z. That's the one that's got me the most excited because it is so thin. So, like it, check it out. Dun -da -da -dun -da -da -dun -da dun 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 There it is. You want thin? Now that is thin. You want to know how thin? Check it out. It's just barely thicker than the USB Type-C connector. That's freaking thin, guys. All right, so here's the phone. And I'm not going to start on the map or anything because, you know, you're going to have to wait for my review. But here's the phone. See the fingerprint reader here. And there's like a, a screen protector. On the side here are the all the buttons. You got a volume rocker, power lock key, of course. And here is a... Uh, SIM tray, which I also believe is a micro SD card slot. Let's see, what else is on the edges here? I showed you the super th slim micro, sorry, USB type C connector, insanely slim. Nothing on the left hand side. Top here, got the earpiece and front facing flash, I guess, and front facing camera. And then, uh, yeah, that's basically it. So, you know. Let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, yeah, feel that. Look at it. Is that sexy or is that sexy? So, oh, the camera, the back. Droid branding. Now, remember in the US, this is going to be first available as a droid. Then eventually this phone is going to be available as a, um, well, the Moto Z is identical. I don't think it looks better. Um, the Moto Z is this, and this is basically the droid edition of it. And it's going to be available unlocked as a Moto Z in the US as well. But the Moto Z Force is exclusive to Verizon. Look at that. Moto logo. And here's that crazy ass connectors and pinout so that you can add the Moto Mods, the magnetic, um, you know, accessories. So, let's see what else is in that box, shall we? All right. Ooh. A beautiful ash wood, I guess. Back. Let's see if we can remove another sticker. Oh, yeah. Removing stickers is like my favorite thing ever. So, there it is. You see there's a, a, a kind of centering pin. Pull out the phone and uh, you go, boom. And there it is. It's on. And now it's making the phone a little thicker. But the camera is now flush and it feels amazing in hand. And Damn, look at how sexy that is. Yep, okay, what else is in the box? Hmm. Notice something missing, right? There's no headphone jack. Remember, this was one of the big deals about uh, this phone when it was announced. Now, notice something else. I need to cut my nails. That's not what I meant. But look, antenna band. So this is all unibody metal with glass front and back, uh, which is really, really beautifully done. So, let's see. You've got these. A little booklet. Yeah, meet your phone, Verizon. La 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 la. Whatever. You know me and manuals is like. Oh, don't do not care. Do not care. All right. What else we got here? Let me move this crap out of the way. Doo, doo, doo. So this I'm gonna have to uh, open later because I don't want to destroy the packaging. But it is a turbocharger or turbocharge 
charger. Uh, of course, USB type C. Sadly, it appears to be attached permanently, so you won't be able to use another cable if this cable breaks, but it is USB type C as expected. Uh, what else do we have in here? We have the, uh, the adapter, yeah. So this is a USB C to 3.5 millimeter adapter. It comes in the box because there's no headphone jack. Let's talk about that for a second. Yeah, no headphone jack. So I think that's a kind of mistake, but unfortunately it's the way the industry is gonna be heading. Um, I have no idea if this is analog, as in if there are extra pins on the USB type C to carry an analog signal to this headphone jack, or if there is an actual, you know, analog, sorry, digital to analog converter that's powered and headphone amplifier in this connector somewhere that's powered and it acts as a USB audio interface. I doubt it. I think they've done analog contacts because this looks super cheap. Like this is like $9 cheap. But hey, we'll find out. Dun -dun. What else is in the box? Oh, look at that. A SIM tool, of course. SIM removal tool. And it's, you know, stab, 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 stab. There it is, guys. The SIM removal tool. Uh, okay, so that's one phone. Holy crap balls, we have one more. And uh, let's see. They could make an attachment with the 3.5 millimeter back. That's the whole point, guys. It's an open standard, the Moto Mods. Anyone can make a Moto Mod. All right, I should probably keep the phone around. Hang on a second. Because of comparisons with thickness. So I'm just trying to clear things off my table. All right, so this is the Moto Z. Now let's go to the next one. Dun, 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 dun. There's four phones, guys. Stay freaking tuned. Um, this is the Moto Z Force. So, let's see what's in this box, shall we? All right, boxes. So at first, you know, you see the presentation for this is very similar. You've got the, the, the phone, which is appreciably thicker. Check it out. You can really tell that it's thicker. Look at how much thicker this is. But you get an indestructible display and you get extra battery life from the thick phone and a better camera, it turns out. Well, on paper anyway, you know me and cameras. I have no idea what it's like because I haven't reviewed this yet. So the bottom one is the Z Force and the top one is the Z. Anyway, and as you can see, they're pretty much identical in every other way. Just thicker, heavier, all right, so I know what you're asking. I'm gonna give you that in a second. Uh, let's do the peeling. Oh, are you ready? Oh, did you hear that? Did you hear that sound? That is the sound of happiness. So for those of you who are just tuning in now, let's kind of walk you through it again. Again, this is a Z Force, the thicker one with the larger battery, the better camera, and the super strong display. Uh, here's the camera, 21 megapixel with uh, LED flash. I can't remember what the megapixel is on the Z. I think it's less, it's like 13 or 16. Somebody chime in right now, please. What is it, 16, 13? I can't Google this while I'm doing live videos, guys. Okay, contacts right here. You know what they're like, boom. A very interesting idea, this modular doing it. I think it's much smarter than what LG did with G5. Moto logo. Unfortunately, these are the same kind of dark gray or brown or whatever, or black color. They're not, um, you know, the, the, the silver or white ones. There are silver and white ones. Uh, fingerprint reader down here. And then, of course, the front flash, earpiece, camera. Again, I'm not turning these on because you don't deserve it. No, just kidding. I'm not turning these on because um, a review is forthcoming, okay? So here, just like with the Moto Z that I unboxed a second ago, oh yeah, I feel that. Oh, that's so good. We have a um, Ashwood, I think, back that will just uh, clamp on, boom. And makes the phone a little thicker, but removes the camera bump, you see? And then of course it feels better in hand. So that's that's the idea here. Let's see, what else do we have in the box? This is gonna be very similar, I have a feeling, to the Moto Z that we just opened up. Oh, look at that. The same droid, whatever, la la la, meet your phone, 
There's some noise out there. It's a helicopter, I think, or an airplane or something. Okay, see what else we've got here. Um, oh, that adapter I talked to you about. Again, I think this is just an analog adapter because there's no headphone jack on this phone. So a USB Type-C to headphone, analog, I'm pretty sure it's like a $9 part. Because, you know, the, the question is, is it analog or is it digital where they put a digital to analog converter and a headphone amp in there? But I don't think there is because that's too expensive. It's just, I, I, I think it's a bad idea to remove the headphone jack because it's such a proven technology. And I know it's old and eventually it's going to go away, but I don't think we're ready for that quite yet. Anyway. Uh, and then, of course, turbocharger. Same thing. Again, is this isn't some sort of seal thing. I don't have scissors and I don't want to rip it open. So uh, USB Type-C on one end. American power on the end is pretty heavy and big. Unfortunately, it's attached permanently to the charger, which I think is a bad idea. And then again, we got the same tool, stab, stab, stab. There it is. All right, so now let's talk about the, uh, I'm just gonna push all of this over. Actually, I'm trying to put everything in the box because I don't wanna mix it up with the other phone. So let's see what we got here. We've got a bunch of adapters, uh, sorry, mods, which are, you know, modular thingies. So I'm going to use the uh, the thinner of the two phones because this is a bit heavy, especially with this extra cover. So bye-bye, Moto Z Force. Let's use Moto Z. Moto Z. What the hell are people asking me about boiled egg in the middle of an unboxing video? People, come on. I know they have the attention span of a gnat, but please stay with me here. This is about a phone, not about eggs. So, I showed you this earlier. Look at the sexiness. Oh, wow, 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 sexy, sexy, sexy. Yeah, that feels nice. I dig this. I like the contrasting color too. Very well done. Very well done. I use all the carriers, but I'm myself pay for T-Mobile because T-Mobile is the best in the entire universe and I've been with them since day one and I don't think they've ever been bad. So there you go. Yeah, it's nice. All right, so let's see what other mods we have. We have this one. We already talked about the ash black one that came with the phones. Dun, 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 dun. And then, I like these wide angle lenses. They're so great, look at this, my hands, everything fits on the table. Uh, this is the JBL something something. This looks like it's been used before. It's got a tiny little scratch on it. Yeah, I know. I know. I looked at it before I did this, you know, because you got to check that everything is in there before you do the unboxing. Okay. Bumped the tripod. So, uh, there's a little manual action here. You know, blah, blah, blah. Nothing to write about. We don't care. Manuals are for non-explorative people. Now, this is thick. Check out these crazy contacts. Look at that. That is interesting. And again, I will give you my verdict on how it sounds in my review. So my, uh, there's USB type C charging port in a very weird location right here. I suppose you're not gonna charge it when it's attached to the, to the phone, right? So uh, look, there's a kickstand. La, 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 la. Doink. Okay, so. Got it? Grippy, very grippy. A big hole. Right, so let's pull out the phone and go like this. And thin phone, very thick battery pack, sorry, sound speaker pack. Dunk, attached. It is attached. I'm not gonna drop this. It's heavy, yeah, it's freaking heavy. Look at that. Look at this. Boom, la la la. So yeah, it's a speaker attachment. Oh, dust, so much dust, let me wipe this off. So, still dust, uh, dust everywhere. Yeah, I don't think I would carry this in my pocket, but I like the idea that you can like pull this, um, this thing, how do you remove it? I suppose you can pull on the kickstand. You, you pull this thing up, um, you know, set this up in your you know, bathroom while you're like shaving or something and listen to some tunes and no Bluetooth connectivity or anything to deal with. Not a bad idea. So you see, look, it's got a little scratch or nick there already. What the hell happened? Come on. You're sending me new product and it's already damaged? Uh -huh. So what else do we have here? We have this Kate Spade thing. Let's have a look at that. The Kate Spade. All right. 
They could make a Xenon Flash mod. That's the whole thing that makes this Moto Mod thing much more brilliant, I think, than the modularity of the G5. So... Ooh, this is slightly gouty. Uh, boxes, get out of the way, boxes, bye-bye. All right. So, I've got it here. Kate Spade. I don't even know what your Kate Spade is. Is that like a known brand? I've never heard of them before. Tells you how much I know about accessories. Look at those contacts. Making sure that I can get some focusing action on you get for you guys. Look at that. It's interesting, huh? And there's that centering pin. And I don't know. What, oh, this tells me the charge level. Look, there's an LED. Ooh, clever. So this is like thinner than the speakers that are redonkulously thick, right? See? And then uh, not quite as thin as this uh, Ashwood cover, right? So just a point of perspective. Nice. Um, I don't like it. It's ugly. Ugly! But it's a 2220, 2220 milliamp hour battery pack. You stick it on here. And guess what? Your phone's a little thicker, and you have... Oh, look, it's charging it. Ha ha! Isn't that cool? Oh, I see. There's a little finger thing down here to remove the attachment. Does the speaker have that too? I guess it does. Oh, you don't have to use the, uh, the kickstand to yank it off. Anyway. Boom. Magnetic. Eh, it's really ugly seriously i don't know i don't know why people would buy this other than of course the charging i can see that being useful but look at that it is telling me that my main battery is 96 percent charge and my secondary battery is 54 i guess uh yeah cool that they have firmware to support that out of the box so that's the um i'm gonna push everything off my table here if you're hearing noise that's the Moto Z, that's the Moto Mods, unboxing, la la la, let's move on to bitter, bigger and better things. Actually, smaller and worse things. These guys, phew, this is like a marathon unboxing. Seriously, it's like Christmas here at Tanko Mobile's uh, offices today. All right, so let's start with the Moto G4, right? The, the, the $200 phone, and here it is. And there's a diagram here. One, remove the thingy. The back cover is removable. All right, let's play the game here. One, remove the thingy. Oh, there's a little indent for the thingy right here. Remove the thingy. Release, unleash the Kraken. And then, interestingly, they say, according to the instructions, that there's a SIM adapter. Oh, that's interesting. A SIM adapter that's designed not to damage the SIM card holder. You know, most of these adapters, you stick them in without a card, will damage the contacts. So this is actually an adapter for uh, nano SIMs to micro SIMs. And then you can either slit, slide a micro SIM in there or a nano SIM. And it's micro SD here. And the battery is not removable. All right. Now that you've seen that, I'm not going to show it to you again on the on the, what's it called? The plus, right? Because I'm lazy. And also because you should have tuned in earlier. So, ta-da. Anyway, I think I'll put it back now. And uh, what else is there in here? So, ooh, not much. So there's that box thing. And then there is Moto Care, Moto Care. Wait. Ah, one is in Spanish. And then we have a, what is this? Turbo power supply. So this is also turbo power, but this one, look, has a, a USB type A connector so you can attach any cable, like maybe this USB, micro USB cable, because this is still old school. Look at that micro USB action, okay? And then there's something else in the box. What is it? Safety regulatory and legal. Nobody cares. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Let's look at this phone real quick. Now, this phone is not under embargo, so I'm going to just turn it on for you guys. Um, I was traveling, in case you're wondering, last week, so all this stuff was supposed to arrive while I was there. Are you ready for the sound? Oh, yeah. 
So uh, I didn't get it until now. I know the G4 and G4 Plus have been reviewed already, but I guess I'm a little behind the times. So there it is. It feels really nice in hand for a plastic phone, guys. I have to say. Yeah, but we had, we're not in India. I'm in the US where they just came out, okay? So I know they came out in India, but it doesn't really help me because I wasn't in India. I travel a lot. I was in China, Taiwan, Japan recently, but not in India. So, all right. Uh, plastic phone, that's one of the drawbacks. And, uh, but it feels pretty premium for a plastic phone, to be honest with you. And then, um, let's turn it on. Boom, Moto, powered by Android. And so here's the earpiece, right? And here's the camera and the Moto logo, of course, when you start it up. Down here is really nothing except for a hole for the primary microphone right there. And then in the back, we've got the Moto logo. We've got the dual LED flash, dual color. And then we have, ooh, dirty fingers. And we have a, a camera. This, I believe, is a 13 megapixel camera. Oh, one thing I didn't say, the Zs have OIS, both of them. This, obviously, is not going to have OIS, $200. Oh, look, a headphone jack. It's back. Uh, not really back, but you get the idea. See if we can get some focusing action on this. Yeah, there we go. So power lock key, uh, volume rocker on the right hand side, very moto, uh, micro USB down here with a little uh, hole to put your fingernail in to uh, pry out the cover. We showed you the SIM slots under there earlier. Left hand side has nothing. And of course, this is pretty much straight up Android. So it's gonna have the same, the usual. And uh, here we go. So somehow I am in Benvenido mode, which is uh, uh, English is what I really want. Here we go, let's try that again. Ah, that's better. So, Moto G4, you know, this is nice, but I think it's too bad it's no longer waterproof like last year's uh, third gen Moto 3. And the other thing, frankly, is you know, why is it so big? One of the things that made the Moto G so awesome when it first came out was that it was a small phone and a sea of big phones and it was affordable. And, you know, you could buy a good small phone. And now it's this massive 5.5 inch thing. I think it's 5.5 inch. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. But anyway, that's that's the Moto G4. Um, I'm going to review it. So stay tuned. Oh, I bumped the tripod. Next phone of four is the Moto G4 Plus. Are you bored yet? So, again, it looks just like the Moto G4. Here's the instructions on how to put the SIM card, as I said, with the adapter for the micro to nano SIM, or rather nano to micro SIM, blah, blah, blah. I showed you all that for the G4 just a second ago. Inside is a turbocharger with a type A port on it, la, 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 and a micro USB cable. Again, this is exactly the same as the Moto G4 non plus that I just opened up. And, the same Spanish English instructions and the regulatory stuff. So let's compare. I'm going to move this over here. It's starting to become a real big mess here on my desk. And, uh, don't fall off the table. Ah, uh, it almost fell off the table. All right, we want to remove the screen protector. Are you ready? Are you ready? If I can catch the little white thing. Oh, it's hard. Are you ready for the sound? Oh yeah. So, Moto G versus Moto G4 Plus. G4 Plus, G4, there you go. G4 Plus on my left, G4 on my right. What do you see that's different? Nothing, except the fingerprint reader. What do you see that's different in the back? Nothing, left is G Plus, right is G4. Nope, no difference, nothing, nada. All right, so let's go over this real quick. Um, this is an updated camera, 16 megapixel and a fingerprint reader. And let's turn it on. There you go. Look at that. Same screen. And it's a pretty decent screen. I don't know. It doesn't look that great on the video, but maybe it's my Nexus 6P making the video. That's not good enough. Behave, Nexus 6P. Be better. I don't know. Powered by Android, fingerprint reader, primary microphone. Uh, you've got the earpiece. You got a five megapixel. Ooh, psychedelic. 
We didn't see that earlier. I just I didn't notice. Biomedic crystal camera, nothing on the left-hand side, headphone jack on top, micro USB on the bottom with a little recess to put your fingernail to pry the cover back off. And on the right-hand side, you have the power lock key and the ro volume rocker. Pretty much standard stuff. Moto logo, 16 megapixel camera versus 13 on the non plus. And looks like it has laser autofocus. See the difference? See? See those shiny things right above the lens right here? That is laser autofocus and it's missing from the G4 regular. So on the G4 Plus, right up here, we have laser autofocus. Uh, and same, feels nice, plastic, but really well made. Uh, not, not waterproof anymore. Uh, and this is what it looks like. So, I don't know if it supports Aptex. I have to look at the specs. Most phones do these days though. Um, so there we go. The motos, all the motos, all the time. Let's let me fetch all the phones. Where did they all go? So we have. I'm gonna remove. Sorry, I'm just bumping things again. So here we have the Moto Z. Then we have the Moto Z. Oh goodness, too many phones. Z Force. And then we've got the G4 and the G4 Plus. Dun, 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 dun. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't think I've ever had to review four phones before. I think I had to review two phones before. This is gonna be tough. Maybe one day each and uh, you just rotate through them because um, personally the one I'm most excited about is the Moto Z. Just the base Moto Z, because you know what? Megapixels don't matter to me. And I don't care about the bigger battery and I don't care about the glass that's shockproof because frankly, all I want is a super, super thin phone because I'm fickle. And with the mods, I can always ask, add a battery pack. So look at this collection. Z, Z Force, G4, G4 Plus. Yes. This is it guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed. It was a mad unboxing. Of all the things. I don't know if they're releasing the Moto Z in India. Look it up. Uh, mad unboxing of all the Moto phones that arrived on my desk today. And uh, expect me to talk about them more later. I just don't know what to tell you other than that. Alright? Are we good? Are we happy? Everybody's cool? I'm signing off. We're done. Bye!